The XFX GeForce 9600 GT, XXX Edition. Let me say something right off the bat. Now, uh, this one comes with Call of Duty 4 in the box. There's a sticker on the actual physical box for a limited time. So, from the making of this video, for a limited time, you're gonna be able to get that. I don't want any hate mail if you tarry and then like, you know, a month down the road you go, hey, uh, it doesn't come with XFX any, the, the, or the XFX doesn't come with uh, Call of Duty anymore. Look on the product page. If it says it comes with Call of Duty, it does, and no more hate mail. There. It's on the box. I'm going to say it. And then if we, we want to fight, we can uh, meet behind the uh, gymnasium. I warn you. Oh, I'm not allowed to make threats. All right, so what's going on with the XFX GeForce 9600 XXX? Well, it's overclocked to 700 megahertz. That's what's going on. It's a 256-bit card, single slot. Love that. PCI Express 2.0 and it'll unblur beautifully. Look at that. Um, yes, we have unblurred technology that's built into the graphics card. That wasn't the camera. <clears throat> it, it, it's, that's how powerful it is. Even when you're holding it, it, it can manipulate the forces around it. Don't, don't, uh, Tiger does not endure. Well, yeah, they do. Um, we have uh, dual link DVI, of course. Now the uh, shader clock on this is a 1790, and we also have 512 megabytes of GDDR3, and that runs at a whopping, what's my paper say? 2,000 megahertz, that's the double data rate. <clears throat> I thought I had it memorized. I'm a slacker, and you could be too. All right, let's talk about some benchmarks. Now this thing is uh, incredibly priced for the performance that you get out of it. It's also overclocked, which is nice. There's a, a couple different overclocked versions. I wanna also clear up some confusion. This is the XXX edition uh, of the 9600 GT. XFX also makes another 9600 GT Triple X edition, but it's the Alpha Dog edition. That one's this much faster, but I'll I'll uh, lay it all out here so you guys can see it. I'm going to show you the benchmarks from that one and the Alpha Dog Triple X edition, so you can make your decision and be educated. Education in America. This is the only place you can get it. All right, Company of Heroes, 1600 by 1200. Uh, the 9600 Triple X edition I've got in my hand, uh, with all the effects turned on, 103 frames a second. Now the Alpha Dog Triple X is at 111 frames a second. Uh, 8800 GT for reference is at 129.3 frames a second. And that one's a little more expensive card. And uh, the 3870 from uh, AMD ATI is at 117 frames a second. So pretty pretty close race there all the way around. Crisis, 1600 by 1200, uh, running on medium settings. Again, as to uh, not make the world explode. That game's ridiculous. <clears throat> okay, the uh, 9600. Triple uh, X edition is 24.5 frames a second. 9600 Alpha Dog Triple X is 29 frames a second. 8800 GT, 29.4 frames a second. And the 3870 is at 20.9 frames a second. Okay, Half Life 2 Episode 2, running at 1920 by 1200. We upped the resolution for that one. It's been out longer than the others. And uh, we're going to max out the settings. So everything on max. Okay, the 9600 Triple X edition, 64 frames a second. The Alpha Dog XXX, 71. The 8800 GT, 69 frames a second. And the uh, 3870 at 47 frames per second. So, uh, as you can see, clearly, it's uh, worth what's in your bank account. Maybe double that. How much would you pay, Eric? Infinity. Eric would pay Infinity, and you're right, you're right to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's the right thing to say. I don't know, just uh, today, I just want to be honest with the world. Infinity is what this should cost. Well, it's a 9600 GTA. Let's not be ridiculous. Maybe half of infinity. Yeah, half of infinity. All right, that's that's pretty much all I'm really going to say about the video. There, there are those graphics card. It's uh, extremely uh, good for the money. And also, you can run this in SLI as well. You can do that if you want to run two of these in, in a system. Now, I know it's a newer card, but don't be confused. You cannot use this in tri-SLI. You can only use this with uh, two cards, not three. And uh, on the back, like I said, we have dual link DVI. Oh yeah, let's talk about what comes in the box. I did want to say that. This is cool. They've included this in the box, which is so generous of them. Uh, DVI to HDMI, full high definition, uh, 1080p coming out of that. Now, if you want to use a different connection for your TV, well, they've included this as well. This plugs into the S video spot right there and it'll allow you to uh, uh, send a component signal over to your uh, TV that'll give you 1080i. We got two of these in the box. That is a DVI to VGA. So if you're uh, still living in a cave with VGA and your CRT, well, you can use this until you come out of the cave. 
you know, whenever you want. I'm not gonna force you guys out of the cave, but really, it's a nice world out here. Come on out, caveman. And uh, there's your S-Video cable. And this is kind of cool as well. It does require uh, one six pin PCI Express power connector. It doesn't use as much power as uh, most of the other cards on the market. And right here, two Molex is gonna become one happy little six pin PCI Express connector. It's happy. And they're gonna kiss. Mm -hmm. All right, that's enough. So uh, go pick it up. I think it's uh, definitely worth infinite, or half of infinity. I'll see you next time. For more information on the XFX GeForce 9600 Triple X Edition, go to compusa.com and type P450-9606 into the search box. Or call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.